Here's a little Philips MC118 micro stereo system I picked up thrifting today. It's a nice little unit. I had a uh, one a while back that was very similar to this design. Um, and I actually looked it up on my channel and it I can't remember the friggin' model number. But yeah, I had something similar. Um, I remember it had record issues and I ended up fixing that. But uh, yeah, so... Oh, and also, I don't know if it was like maybe uh, a year ago or so, I picked up another Philips uh, micro unit, and it actually didn't have its original speakers. It came with these speakers, and now I have the model that these speakers go to. So that's a plus. Uh, the... Uh, the belt need replacing, that's for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> As it barely can rewind, it won't fast forward. So, it came with all the antennas, which was a shocker. This unit came with these speakers. The speakers, these kind of speakers I had beforehand, I actually got rid of. But, uh, I mean, if I kept them, I would have had four of these speakers. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, the whole unit came as one complete with everything, except the remote. And that's typical. Anyway, uh, it's got the aux. Obviously, it's got radio. We got a little incredible surround, DSC and DBB. C player works just fine. Yeah, and there's not much on the unit because I'm sure everything was on the remote. But what I can, what I do get is the timer button, the program button, the source, the power, dynamic bass boost, dynamic, um, you know, I can't remember what DSC stands for. <laughs> the incredible surround, but the DSC changed between the equalizer. So uh, the repeat band, the clock and the shuffle, and then your basic CD controls. And volume, and that's it. But yeah, uh, I picked this up for you know it was, it was ten bucks, but I think it was worth it. It's a cute little system. I do like the dark blue and gray mixture. But um, when I got this, though, I mean this the tape well is cleaner. Um, <laughs> but man, this had a bunch of webs and dust. And um, I did peek in this unit, and the belts were whole. So, because I wanted to look inside before I pushed any buttons in case they were tar, it would be more hell to clean up if I had tested the thing and the belts were tar and they started getting all over the sh place. So, um, so I have to get back into the unit and change the belts because there's a big dip in one of them apparently, and that's where the wow and flutter comes from. Oh, it's nice. He's not even playing now. Ugh. Awful. It's a full auto stop Mac, so I don't have to worry about if the take up spool stops. The whole unit will still stop. So, that's a plus with that. But yeah, that's basically it. My little thrift find.